More than 1,100 former prosecutors and other Department of Justice officials are calling on Attorney, B Attorney General Bill Barr to resign. The former DOJ officials served in both Republican and Democratic administrations, and they posted a statement on Sunday. And it reads in part, Mr. Barr's actions in doing the president's personal bidding unfortunately speak louder than his words. Those actions and the damage they've done to the Department of Justice's reputation for integrity and the rule of law require Mr. Barr to resign. The attorney general is the focus of attention because of the case against Roger Stone, a political activist and friend of President Trump. The Justice Department backed away from a sentencing request from federal prosecutors for prison time for Stone's conviction for lying to Congress. President Trump criticized the sentencing request on Twitter before the Justice Department made their decision. Last week, Barr said critical tweets make it impossible for him to do his job. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi is on a diplomatic mission in Europe this week. Speaker Pelosi today led a congressional delegation at meetings in Brussels with European Commission leaders. She also attended a European security conference where she joined Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in warning European governments about doing business with Chinese tech firm Huawei. And in decision 2020 now, the race for president, all eyes are on Nevada now. But the action has not just been at vote centers as the early voting in the caucuses continues. It also came at a series of events featuring the presidential candidates themselves trying to push people to the polls. Fresh off their solid performances in New Hampshire, Brody Sanders, Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar are hitting the streets and they're even hosting events. In the meantime, the Nevada State Democratic Party is using a caucus calculator. The calculator is going to be downloaded to party purchased iPads and only available for use by precinct chairs charged with completing sometimes complicated caucus math. This was implemented to avoid a debacle like what we saw during the Iowa caucus. And as we mentioned, early caucusing started Saturday at 80 locations around the state. You're looking at video of the big turnout lines there and the long lines. In fact, early caucusing does continue through Tuesday. In purpose, in person caucusing actually takes place on Saturday, February 22nd.